Now, the fight to retake the heavily populated western part of Mosul is a fierce one. And joining me now from Baghdad is Major General Rupert Jones. He's Deputy Commander for Operation Inherent Resolve, as that offensive is known. Uh, General Jones, welcome to the program. Thanks so much for being with us. I know it's late there, but can you give us the status of the airport? Is it actually completely and officially now within, you know, liberated forces' hands? Well, good afternoon, and uh, thank you very much for having me on the, the program. As you say, the Iraqis have made uh, a really great start to the, uh, the operation to liberate West Mosul. Today was day five. Uh, it's been a really good day. Uh, and as you say, the Iraqis uh, are uh, on the airfield. Uh, the, you know, it looks reasonably well secured, but, uh, but it's, it's, uh, I think you know, we, we should just be a little bit patient. Um, it'll really be for the Iraqis to uh, say for certain uh, once they're, they're confident they're holding it. But, uh, but across the frontage, the Iraqis have made really, really positive progress today. Um, and what they're doing very, very effectively is presenting the enemy uh, with multiple dilemmas that ISIS are just not able to deal with. Well, you say not able to deal with, but you're also saying that perhaps they haven't fully secured the airport. What are they, what are they getting back from ISIS in terms of pushback? Well, look, the way the Iraqis uh, operate very effectively is that they, they clear a piece of ground, uh, they consolidate, and then they do what they call back clear. So they go back, back on themselves and make sure there's no uh, enemy uh, hiding away in tunnels, in buildings, uh, and that's what they'll need to do at the airport. So they're, on the, they're at the airport, uh, looks like they're holding the airport, but they'll want to go back uh, and make sure that there's, there's no enemy uh, hi hiding away who could pose a threat to them. And can I ask you, because of course, you know, throughout this offensive, we started, as, as you know, of course, better than I, in October to get, past, past, uh, get back east in Mosul, a huge concern around the world and in Iraq for all the civilians there. Um, we, we saw that eastern Mosul was taken pretty much without too much harm to the civilians. What is the status of western Mosul? Is it more difficult to take it back uh, and try to spare the civilians? Is it going to, you know, w what do you expect them to have to suffer during this uh, liberation? Yeah, I mean, I think this is one of the, the things that characterizes this, this battle. You know, the reality is that ISIS are using the population of Mosul as, as hostages. That makes the job very difficult for the Iraqi security forces. But it's one of the things that really characterized their liberation of the East was the, the consideration for the civilians that was displayed by everybody in the Iraqi system, from Prime Minister Abadi uh, down to the troops on the ground. And that's what we're seeing uh, again in the West. Uh, it means the Iraqis need to be very deliberate uh, in, in their clearance. Uh, we would expect, from that point of view, the West to be a little bit uh, trickier than the East. The West is where the old town is, the, the, the streets are tight, the alleyways. Uh, it'll, it'll be difficult to clear through, but, but what the Iraqis have demonstrated is that absolute consideration for civilian lives, uh, in complete contrast, of course, uh, to ISIS, who, uh, who do continue to display a brutality and a complete absence of humanity. Um. One of the other troubling sort of characteristics of some of these previous attempts to liberate is when, you know, local, you know, forces backed by, let's say, uh, Iranian-backed groups and others, they have actually shown some rather fierce, uh, you know, revenge against some of those who they're going after. Is there any risk of that happening this time? Well, look, I think what we saw in the East and what we're seeing in, in the West is that Iraqi security forces are operating very well uh, together. They're absolutely working in collaboration. All the different elements of the Iraqi security forces are working well together, uh, absolutely in accordance with Prime Minister Abadi's orders. Uh, and that you know, has really been the hallmark of their success uh, in recent times at the back end of the operation in East Mosul uh, and has absolutely characterized the way they've started uh, operations in West Mosul. And uh, as a result of that, as you've, as you've said already, they've, uh, they're, on, they're at the airport uh, and critically away to the west of the airport. They've also now uh, a, um, established a, an initial foothold uh, into the southern edge of Mosul City itself, which, which is a great, great and very important achievement. This obviously couldn't have happened without a huge amount of support, uh, you know, over the last couple of years to get them back into a fighting force. But also now, can you explain to us exactly what U.S. special forces, British special forces, what, what are you doing to help this fight? 
Well, look, you know, the, the, the almost the genius of, of this campaign is that it's being executed by our partners, in the case of Iraq, by the Iraqi security forces. Uh, it is their country, it's their towns, their cities that have been, that have been taken by ISIS, and it is they who are, who are liberating them. Our role, we're, we're in support. You know, the, the mantra is by, with, and through the Iraqi security forces, and that's exactly what it is. So our role uh, is to support. We help train the Iraqi security forces, prepare them for battle before they cross the line of departure. Uh, and then in, in the fight, uh, we, of course, uh, support them, provide them with uh, uh, the, the fire support they need, the, fire, the air strikes they need to help them uh, on the move. But beyond an illusion, uh, the people on the front line uh, clearing the, the towns, the cities, the streets, uh, breaking the way into, into South Mosul as we speak are the Iraqi security forces. Let me ask you to cast your eye uh, uh, broader and wider to Syria. You heard what I said, that the uh, commander of forces in that region has told reporters that they don't want to lose momentum and that the U.S. may have to, you know, put more of its own troops on the ground in Syria and try to ramp up the fight against ISIS in Raqqa, uh, perhaps long-range artillery, attack helicopters, but just, just get out there and do it quicker and faster and with more, uh, you know, Western U.S. forces. What are you hearing about that? Is, is that a good idea, do you think? <laughs> well, uh, I, I would be, I'd be a foolish commander here in Baghdad to, uh, to, second, <laughs> to second guess that. But look, you know, uh, it's really important that we, we pressure in Syria, that we pressure in Iraq. You know, it's a, it's a front uh, all the way between the, between the two countries. So we are, uh, our partner forces are closing in on Raqqa, they're isolating Raqqa, and again, that operation is going really well. Uh, and as you say, uh, you know, in exactly the same way as we are in Iraq, our job uh, is to provide the necessary support to our partners, uh, and our partners in, in Syria are different to the Iraqi security forces. So they need slightly different support, uh, and of course, uh, we continue to look at exactly what, what uh, forces it's appropriate to provide in Syria uh, to ensure our, our partners succeed. And be, be quite clear, succeed they will. So this is the beginning of the end, Major General Jones? Is this the beginning of the end of ISIS? Well, look, um, you know, the, the liberation of Mosul and Raqqa, the, the kind of the capitals, if you like, of the self-proclaimed caliphate. Uh, I'm very confident those two uh, cities are going to be liberated. Uh, those, that will be a crushing blow uh, on the enemy. I think what we can say is that we are now at the beginning of the end of ISIS in, in Mosul. Uh, but we shouldn't be under any, any illusions. There are tough days ahead on the streets of Mosul. Uh, it will be a tough fight to fully liberate that city. And indeed, once Mosul is liberated, uh, that is most certainly not the end. Uh, that, you know, that there's a long way to go before uh, the government of Iraq has fully liberated uh, their country uh, from the scourge that is ISIS. Major General Rupert Jones, thank you so much for joining us.